Hello, I'm Daniel Wolfert. I live off-grid in northern Arizona, and this is my series on off-grid ingenuity. So one of the challenges, and for me, part of the fun of living off-grid is coming up with innovative solutions to everyday problems. In living off-grid, you're going to have laundry like everybody else, and probably even a little more of it. Uh, unless, like some people, you wear your underwear for more than a week at a time. All right, I hope you're not doing that, but in any case... Uh, Here's my off-grid washing machine, uh, a low-cost solution to an everyday problem. I had a neighbor who uh, came up with the solution of buying an expensive generator, buying a wash machine, building a shed, cost him a couple thousand dollars to wash his laundry. I said, F that, I'm going to find a low-cost solution. So here's my solution. It uses a uh, garden cart, also known as a utility cart, which I already had on the property. Every serious off-grader should probably already own one of these. If you're not, you're showing a serious lack of commitment. Uh, this is something I use every day. And uh, it costs about 100 well, I got mine for 70 on sale at Harbor Freight Tools, but generally speaking, they're around $100. Um, but there are other lower-cost solutions, a simple coaster wagon, a mover's dolly, and uh, maybe even a swing. Use your imagination, be innovative. So my solution basically starts with the garden cart, but then the next thing is I added a uh, container here, a plastic container that I got for $7. And uh, this was very important to me that it's shatter resistant, cold weather resistant, and also made with recyclable materials. Uh, 69 quarts, about 65 liters, and just the perfect size for doing laundry. Now, I also want to tell you that I use biodegradable laundry detergent. You can see right there on the label that uh, this tells you that uh, it's biodegradable, safe for septic tanks, and contains no phosphorus. And I got that at the dollar store for $1, which means that my per laundry cost of doing laundry is about uh, a penny, <laughs> no, probably not that, maybe a nickel, a nickel to do the laundry. Uh, in any case, not an expensive uh, item. And uh, now, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to load your clothes in there. And I'm going to show you something. What I like to do is I actually like to pre-soak my clothes. I let this sit out in the sun and it gets the water nice and hot. And uh, that way, if you're doing socks and underwear, you can be using hot water. Now, if this was a completely black container, it would actually heat the water faster. So uh, that's another uh, good thing to keep in mind. Now, I've pre-soaked this laundry for about an hour. And you can see a lot of the dirt has already come out of it because I put a cup of, uh, or a, a cap full of the laundry detergent in there. And it's been uh, pre-soaking in the sun. Now, uh, the... And also, I want to mention that I got my water from my rainwater tank, and I used probably about six gallons of water in there. Now, this is the wash cycle. And so what you're going to do to, uh, to accomplish your agitation, which some of you don't need any practice at agitating, but uh, this is how we are going to agitate our wash, just gently rocking that back and forth like that. And... Uh, I'm using one hand, so this does not require a lot of effort. You can do it for as long as you want. I find that five minutes is plenty of time back and forth like this. And if you got some kids, you can press them into service. Anyway, so I'm not going to do the full five minutes worth of agitation. But you get the idea. After the, uh, after the wash cycle is done, you can go ahead and remove your laundry out of there. Uh, maybe you can even just set it right on the grate here. Uh, wring it out a little bit if you want to, and then add some fresh water for your rinse cycle. About the same amount of water. You're going to use about the same amount of water. Slosh it back and forth. And uh, when you're done with that, you're going to put all of your laundry here up on the cart. You're going to wring that laundry out. And then you're going to either hang it on a line, or here's a little handy device that I found on Amazon.com. You see it's got a little hook there. See how that works? I've got a little bracket that comes off the side of my cabin that I can hook that right into. And then I'm gonna hang my socks and my underwear right on those little clips. 
and this is going to turn around in the wind and it's going to get my laundry nice and fresh and clean. So that's my off-grid laundry mat. One other thing that I want to mention is, is that I always like to find multiple uses for everything. So even that water that's in the washing machine, I'm going to go ahead and save that and uh, use it to swab my deck. Because I like to find multiple uses. I like to really stretch my, my resources as far as I can. I'm very frugal. And that's part of my secret of living off-grid and enjoying the heck out of it is that it cost me very, very little money to live off-grid. Thanks for coming with me on this uh, episode of Off-Grid Ingenuity. And I hope that uh, this gave you some good ideas on ways that you can in, in further enhance your off-grid living experience. Do you have a good day today in your habitat? Yeah, you're such a nice, friendly guy. Yeah. So handsome.